Uh, my name is uh, Henry Turnage. Um, I'm, I'm going to do a, a voter registration drive uh, in Franklin County, Virginia, um, coming up uh, this weekend. Um, uh, and we're going to talk about uh, the relocation of the Confederate uh, statue in front of the Franklin County Courthouse. So when is this going to happen? When are you registering? Regi- when are you registering voters? And how do you go about doing that? Don't you have to get somebody's permission or something, and, and uh, make sure it's all uh, all the dot- T's are crossed and the I's are dotted? Uh, yes, sir. You gotta, you gotta, you know, you gotta go to, you know, do an online class uh, to get registered. Uh, to actually, um, so we done all of that, and you just, you know, find a location, post up, and, and you step out and knock on some doors, you know, and and grassroots is what it's called, I guess, in the in the political field. Um, you know, knock on doors, you know, try to restore some people's rights, um, and just, you know, first time voters. You know, some people, you know, don't know the process. To go about voting. So where exactly? Open some eyes. Where exactly are you going to be set up? Um, we're going to set, be setting up this weekend, starting Saturday. Um, we're going to be setting up actually at the courthouse, um, at the statue in front of the courthouse. Um, we're going to be doing there. If you guys are folk, um, statue, come out and talk to us. You know, spread some of your information. Um, open. So we're going to be in front of the courthouse. We're going to be at um, the Walgreens. Um, in Franklin County and at the car wash uh, right beside, uh, I think it's the C-Mart, right there uh, above Wendy Lane. Okay. Why do you think it's important to uh, vote? I mean, it seems like it's going to be uh, just a task even trying to vote this fall in the elections because uh, of the COVID-19 pandemic. And uh, uh, isn't it easier just to, uh, you could suggest people come to vote or you suggesting people should uh, absentee ballot or, or what, what, do you, what do you think is important this time around? Um, we can actually, actually just vote any way you can. You know, um, absentee, we have those, um, we can act, actually um, send those in for you so you can receive your absentee vote. And you can do, um, you can actually do um, early voting. Let me see, the early voting, um, you can do 18 September through 31 October. Um, you just go to the registry's office, but you have to register to vote before you can do any of these things. Okay, so when you register to vote, how long does it take to, before you're actually officially on the rolls? Uh, so we have to send a form in within 10 days, um, so actually you register, uh, we send the forms in, you're, you're, you're put right on the registry within 10 days. Okay. So, uh, do you think we're going to have a good turnout this year? I think I think we're going to have to. You know, it's a polarizing, uh, we actually have a polarizing uh, president. And we have a polarizing uh, uh, statue uh, on the ballot in, in, you know, considering Franklin County. So I think, we're, you know, people are going to be very interested in those. So the, general sem- so the General Assembly actually is allowing localities to vote on statues now. Is that right? Uh, yes, sir. We went in front of the Board of Supervisors. Sir. They actually uh, put a referendum on the ballot. Um, um, and we're having another, uh, the, let me see, another Board of Supervisors meeting on, let me see, the 18th. Mm-hmm. Um, so if you guys want to, you know, if you're pro statue, come out and, and support the statue. You know, I'm open to all opinions. You know, mm-hmm. I'm of the opinion that the statue doesn't belong in front of the courthouse. I just want to relocate it. Why, why don't you think it should be there? Um, I think it's a bad representation. You know, um, I'm, I'm raising black children. You know, me and my wife are in the military. So we follow the American flag. You know, I have a, I have the American flag sitting there, and uh, and in my opinion, a traitor. Well, not my opinion, by all definitions, a traitor five feet away from the, the American flag. Mm-hmm. You know, with his own uh, rebel flag. You know, it's, and you know, I, I refuse for my kids after following the American flag all over this world. Because my kids have been stationed all over the world. I refuse for them to come back home to my hometown and walk under. A slave flag. Hmm. Well, some people say it's just a monument to the the Confederate dead, the people who fought. You know, everybody who lived in this part of the country was uh, part of the Confederacy, since Virginia was. But, yeah, that's that's a hundred percent true, and that's and that's a great point. But but my point is valid too. That if the Confederacy had won, my kids would be slaves. I was curious though. Um, is this the only uh, monument Confederacy in this area? Uh, I know the statue was knocked down a while ago by an accident, and they rebuilt it. But are there any other statues in this area, and where would it go if it can't be here? Um, well, they well, they actually have a couple of different options. Um, they have the War Memorial, which is a kind of a problem because it's for, you know, uh, uh, it's right down the street. Um, 
It's actually for, you know, American war, so I don't know, you know, that's kind of a conflict. They also have the Jubal Earl uh, home place, which is a great place for it. You know, it's, it's the dead soldiers from his actual, you know, he, that he actually was over top of. So I, I think that's the greatest place. Where is that? In my own opinion. Where is that? It's, a, it's, a, it's down in Hardy, Virginia, um, right down 122. Um, he's got his own little museum down there. So, I mean, that, that that would be the perfect place for it, in my opinion. Well, have you talked to those people at all about it? Uh, because I believe that uh, the Jubal Early something of the Daughters of the American Confederacy actually put up the statue back in 1910. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. And we are in contact with them. I'm trying to sit down with them. Um, sir, yeah, um, uh, the Jubal Early put home place. Um, yes, that would be the perfect place for it, in my opinion. You know, they were his soldiers. Um, that You know, they had a kind of a problem putting it down there because it's only open a couple of days a week, I think. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that, that was kind of the issue there. Well, but it'll be outside. I mean, I'm sure everybody can see it then, right? Exactly. That's my point. So, you know, um, we're, we're actually trying to get them in a the room and all of us sit down and talk about it. I want the Daughters of the Confederacy, um, the people that represent the Jubal Earl um, home place. If we can all sit down, I think we can we can come up with a great solution. Mm -hmm. I, I think everybody wins in that, in that scenario. Tell me, do you know, are there any other statues out there to any other war dead, like World War One, World War Two? I? I mean, um, they, they do have the War Memorial. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, they do have the War Memorial right down the street. Um, it's a beautiful, beautiful war memorial. Um, they actually have the, the names of the Confederate soldiers down there mm -hmm. already. So <clears throat> my whole thing is um, just the, the, the memorial in front of the courthouse. You know, that's the place that, 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 that we should go to seek justice, and I think that's a bad representation. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, I'm sure there are lots of other opinions, and they will be uh, forthcoming. <clears throat> So I want to thank you for your time, and I appreciate uh, you taking the time to tell us about voter registration and uh, the statue. And uh, we'll hopefully see you down there. Uh, thank you so much for having me on. And again, if you guys are a pro statue, I totally understand your opinion. We just want to relocate it in no way destroy or in no way disrespect. Okay, great. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Bye. Thank you so much, sir. Bye.